In the shadow of history, whispers of the ancient Nile tell the story of Cleopatra VII, the last pharaoh of Egypt. A figure of intellect, charm, and political skill, she navigated her kingdom through the challenges of Roman expansion, aligning with powerful leaders like Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. More than a monarch, Cleopatra was a trailblazer who defied her era's expectations, becoming a symbol of wisdom, power, and seduction. This documentary, Cleopatra, The Last Pharaoh, ventures beyond the myths to explore the true story of a woman far ahead of her time, revealing the enduring legacy of one of history's most captivating figures. Born in the year 69 BCE, Cleopatra was a scion of the Ptolemaic dynasty, a lineage of Greek origin that held sway over Egypt and traced their lineage to one of Alexander the Great's most renowned generals. Her rise to power in 51 BCE heralded the beginning of a reign unparalleled in the annals of history. Fluent in multiple languages and a master of political intrigue, Cleopatra was a ruler of exceptional caliber. Yet her path to power was not without its obstacles. After her father's passing, Cleopatra's ascent to the throne plunged her into a maelstrom of political turmoil and familial discord. She found herself embroiled in a fierce contest for dominance with her brother, Ptolemy XIII. This period was marked by intense sibling rivalry and a fraught political landscape as both siblings laid claim to the throne, each seeking to outmaneuver the other for supremacy. This power struggle was not just a personal feud but a reflection of the deep-seated challenges that faced the Ptolemaic dynasty, including internal dissent and the ever-looming threat of Roman intervention. Cleopatra's early reign began under ominous clouds, setting the stage for her to demonstrate her remarkable political acumen and determination to secure her position as the undisputed ruler of Egypt. Cleopatra's rule was distinguished by astute political alliances, with her liaison with Julius Caesar standing as the most critical. Their connection transcended a mere romantic entanglement, evolving into a strategic partnership that significantly altered historical trajectories. In 48 BCE, in a daring and ingenious maneuver, Cleopatra was clandestinely wrapped in a rug and smuggled into Caesar's presence, marking the beginning of a union that would intertwine the destinies of Egypt and Rome. This bold act not only underscored Cleopatra's resourcefulness, but also cemented a pivotal alliance that would shape the political landscape of the era. Their meeting was the beginning of a liaison that would not only secure Cleopatra's throne but also bring stability to Egypt. Their relationship was more than just a romantic intrigue, it was a partnership that bore them a son, Caesarion, and linked the fate of Egypt with the might of Rome. This alliance brought prosperity, peace, and a period of stability that Egypt had long yearned for. However, the idyll was not to last. Caesar's assassination in 44 BCE brought an abrupt end to this alliance, leaving Cleopatra in a precarious position. Now, the Queen of the Nile found herself in solitude, confronting a future brimming with unpredictability and peril. In the face of uncertainty, Cleopatra once more demonstrated her political acumen by aligning with Mark Antony, a rising leader in Rome, and a man who commanded the loyalty of the Roman mob. This alliance was not merely political, but also deeply personal. Their relationship was marked by passion and ambition, a romance that rocked the ancient world. Together, they envisioned a grand eastern empire that would rival Rome in power and glory. Their union was blessed with three children, further solidifying their bond and shared aspirations. They dreamt of a Mediterranean dynasty, a vision of a future where the sun would never set on their reign. It was a dream of grandeur and power, a world where Egypt and Rome would stand together, not as conqueror and conquered, but as equals. But as is often the case, dreams and reality do not always align. Their dreams of a Mediterranean dynasty, however, were not to be. The Battle of Actium in 31 BCE marked a turning point in Cleopatra's reign. This colossal naval engagement between the combined forces of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, and those of Octavian the future Augustus Caesar, spelled disaster for the Egyptian queen and her Roman ally. Their defeat was not merely a military loss, but marked the end of an era. The Ptolemaic rule was no more. Egypt, a once mighty kingdom under the rule of Cleopatra, was now in the hands of Rome, marking the beginning of a new epoch in its history. Cleopatra, a woman of indomitable spirit, found herself cornered, but she would not bow to Rome. In 30 BCE, facing a future of defeat and humiliation, she chose to end her own life. This act of defiance was her final statement to the world, a symbol of her unwillingness to live as anything less than a queen. Cleopatra, choosing death over submission to Rome, 
ended her life in 30 BCE. Though her life ended tragically, Cleopatra's legacy endures. She was far more than just a queen of beauty and charm. She was a woman of intelligence, charisma, and political savvy. Fluent in nine languages, she was the first Ptolemaic ruler to speak Egyptian. She navigated her kingdom through turbulent times, forming strategic alliances and proving herself a formidable player in the political arena. Cleopatra's enduring allure lies not just in her romantic entanglements, but in her role as the last pharaoh of Egypt. Her reign marked the end of an era, as Egypt's independence succumbed to Roman conquest. Yet in the face of defeat, she chose her own path, her own end, asserting her royal dignity, till her final breath. In Cleopatra, the ancient world found its most enduring legend, a queen who defied an empire and in doing so, became immortal. If you like what you just saw, please like and subscribe.